Good morning. It is Tuesday today, and it is our first Universal Day. I expect a big one tomorrow because tomorrow's the, the the horror nights. But we're going in first, seeing what we do about uh, about our tickets, kind of get a bit more information on that, and a bit more of a, of a park day because, let's like say tomorrow, Halloween closes at uh, two in the morning. Whereas today it closes at seven. Both parks close at seven today, which is surprisingly early, especially for Islands of Adventure, because I don't really post any of the events. But yeah, that'll give us time to go to the park while we're down that side, do some outlet shopping, and probably hit Walmart afterwards. Go to the universal, no bother. Thirty dollars parking. So if you get it free, it's quite two sort of a ticket. We have feeling about the day that someone else. The creepy mini golfs at the side try on the other side. Yeah, we've done that one once, it was cool that was. Please watch your step. Please watch your step. I thought you'd watch the line. Nice. This is the um, former coconut club that was here on the right, I believe. That's closed, and that's what uh, the new Universal Escape Rooms have become. Uh, they got the Back to the Future themed escape room and a. Jurassic World one. It's about it, it start price starts from depending on the time of day, it's from fifty dollars up to sixty each. Uh, it doesn't really work as a kind of like two of you can go in. It's more you're putting to as there's eight two groups so you're putting with strangers and you kinda of work by room by room. It doesn't backtrack like the room closes off so like the, the, the next part you can kinda of go in type thing. Uh, you can do a private. A private group of up to eight for three hundred dollars. So if there's at least six of you, breaks even. If there's eight of you, then you're saving yourself money doing it that way, and you can be in your own party then. Um, well, yeah, that's an option now. I would like to do it, but say it is an expensive choice for an escape room compared to others, and mingling with another party. I guess it depends on the time of day. I mean, if it's quiet, you might be able to request it without making it private. But that's something to have to. Uh, I think it's like look of the draw really with that one. So. You better find yourself a big group, I think. Unless you don't mind working with others, but other people that might just kind of rush through, be silly, blah, 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 you know. Depends if you're a real team player, I guess. We're finding about, about our tickets and redeeming them and everything for tomorrow, so we're going over to the VIP check-in section in Universal, which is just underneath the arches and in the big pink building to the right. And my favorite golden arches. <laughs> but the music on the Rip Ride Rocket has changed now. We used to get, to, I think it was four or five categories with about five songs each. I think they've just put it down to four now. Four songs, one per each um, genre. I don't know how true that is. We'll find out when we get on it. But I think there is still a secret uh, playlist in there. But then it doesn't record the video of you going around. You can't purchase it if you do the secret set list. There's all the Halloween Horror Night decor. That's the vast. Season 4, Texas Believer, which is the, probably one of the only houses to be based off a trailer. The film's not out until later on this month. That's uh, ambitious. See some of the decor from inside there. As well as uh, my outside for that. Universal Monsters Unmasked. Chuck it in there for you others as well. Dueling Dragons was an old roller coaster. That's what Hagrid's coaster replaced. They've done a house theme to that, so that'll be interesting as well. If you're nostalgic. So uh, I feel like it. Set around to the right. VIP check in, there we go. Straight in front. See, we're in. In like Flynn. We're going to come back uh, when we're here tomorrow. We can just 
get checked in and wait in the Cafe La Bamba down here and wait in the park, which is cool. Because I think that you can queue and wait a bit outside the front from what I've read. Here at the, uh, the new Minion Land. Illumination Avenue. We've got 35 Minion Mayhem. This is a new ride, Villain Con. This is 25. Should we try the new one for 25? I got off of the, uh, that um, Minion Blast Villain Con thing and honestly, I don't rate it. Shrek, Shrek was much better. Uh, as soon as you walk inside, it does a bit like a convention, that's that's pretty cool. But the actual attraction itself, you get these little ray guns, you're shooting, you stand on this conveyor belt which goes around and you're shooting targets. And it's, innovation wise, it's something that's, well, that was just spiced up the shooting game which kind of already exists in a few of the rides. But it's just nah, I, w I, w I wouldn't queue for it again, no. There's much better here to be had. So while I'm standing there, the restrooms, this is like the Jimmy Fallon building, the, the Universal's Rockefeller. That balcony across there will be on there tomorrow night with the RIP, because so there's a private bar up there. So I look forward to that. This is all, this must be hard. And they've got the... All the stuff, all the setups, all the bar, like the snack stores and all They're not open during park hours. Well, kind of, uh, open up. But this will be the queue for the Exorcist. I think Strange Things is through here as well. And yeah, we're just having a mosey bank, see what else there is. A little bit of the, the new Minions Land, I've got the Minion Cafe, uh, the Bank of Evil, just uh, Bake My Days, you know, with the, uh, the pink and the Minion on top. Obviously, Pass all as we were last year. September to October, they do what? Well, August to like, late September, they do uh, appreciation days. Which gives like discount on uh, extra discount on things, um, early park admission. Um, you get like your magnets on but it's just like even if you're on the lower tier, you still get included in all the top tier things, which is pretty cool. Uh, sometimes, depending on, the, like if you're going twice a year, I'd recommend getting an annual pass because it works at the same price as the UK ticket if you do the exchange rate. And you get the, like, the, the bonuses as well, so I'd definitely look into uh, an annual pass, even if it's just seasonal, if you're going more than twice within a 12 month period. Now we're off and see what's next. So Jimmy Fallon was 10 minutes, but if you've ever been to the Rockefeller in, uh, in New York, they've actually now of the interior of this. Going here last year, it's actually pretty, they have to pretty much like the light. <laughs> pretty cool. So let me see Studios Quantum Leap. Magnum. Magnum the Continental, that's that new series, the, the John Wick one. Oh, as soon as the office, I'm thinking it's Jimmy Fallon. Let's do it right now, I think it's... I've got the 69 stage bit there. Fit the store. You could put yourself physically into one of these comic books here, it's like 70 odd bucks. Into one of them. Oh, those false ones. <laughs> the thing is, is uh, seeing the merchandise is pretty dark. Little light up to oh, there's the little planter. Look at that. It's 
obviously like fake. What is that? 27 bucks. Weekly Magnificent. The last of us magnet. <laughs> Did release. Yep. Ah, this is look at the floor. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Very good, that. Ah, lots of Stranger Things stuff in here. Bike foot shirts, bags. Little thing. That is, uh, that's a pudding. I really went to. Uh, I think they went quite overboard on the um, Stranger Things stuff. Last of Us Coaster, that's smart. Last of Us. What does it say? Good. So that is six books, is that all? Oh, nice. Coaster. Oh, the this is this. I just want to this is already for the last No, there used to be a white shirt in the other store. And there is a, a shop glass when we click it on. So I will find them. There are other shops to go into. Well, you would think this being the main one, everything would be in here. Uh, even the exit test tells more stuff. It's like again. People have been able to just buy this without, they won't ask for the pass. So I definitely want to get myself a pair of them. How much are they? 20. one of these issues, this is it. No, at the end of the event you'd get it, uh, or you get it sent to you. Hey. 
375 for the macaroons and a chucky whoopie pie. Oh my goodness. A little bit of cookie. Bloody brain cheesecake. That's uh, on the bend there. Oh, these are. There's one of these. Should we take tabbers? Each room's got one of these because they're all a um, 50 bucks plus tax, it's second edition. I think each room tells a story, so each room's got a book. 15 bucks a lot, it doesn't feel thick either. That's pretty cool though, I like that Dracula. There's a little thing of shop glasses that's got all the different characters and things on there, but there should be socks of like that. Is this going to be the Wolfman I'm guessing? Yeah. You see this cool in here? Oh, they've got Vecna. Oh, they've got two Hellfire and a Chucky. You know, the little boost call, but why not click it? <laughs> How dare you? There <laughs> are options. Yeah, Finnegan. They do the same scream so well. You wait for horror nights. You can't be locked in the park. Get something to eat in the uh, Finnegan's. Or you can join a queue to go into one of the uh, houses. We didn't do that last year, so when we were kind of let loose, we could venture around in the houses. There was already a massive queue for the people who waited, kind of like, like think so it was like right from the get go, 70 minutes. So plan that one carefully. I think I'd recommend it to rest fast. It's like a party, yeah? I believe down here. Where the last of us food trucks are. I feel like I should be. Oh, the Santa's. Family. 20 minutes. Mummy's open. It's 45. We get that tomorrow, so this is 20. Look at this. We're actually trying to find something to eat as well. And find a cocktail. Got out of the uh, slow and curious, fast and furious. Sorry, then towards the Starbucks. The Starbucks they used to be there, so it's still there, but it's saying that uh, Cardinal Dust is removed there to move to Capilla Bomba, which we've got to check in tomorrow anyway. So, see what it's like on the inside. Go grab some lunch from there. Uh, is it the today, the today Cafe? Get the strawberry sandwich.
So the British brothers are coming. Mystery machine there and all. Great karaki! Oh shit, they're there! Is that it? Coins! That's cool. So her and there's a date cast out. So we're both up to for the current Carnegie. Strong and right, basically. <laughs> Using that for the little potato salad, that is very nice. Ain't done it in years, but we just came out of the uh, horror makeup show. How highly amusing. I well, enjoyed that. <laughs> so the uh, little group next to us got uh, picked up. But she was a good sport, she was on that as well. Let's see if this place does actual cocktails. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's usually quite a boozy place, isn't it? Yeah, I know it's really nice. This looks cool, huh? It's even cooler at night. Maybe something. Jungle scare zone for uh, horror nights. It's a damn plane. Is it one from the always has the best bit of scenery? Should I find someone a bloody cup down? It's good. The doors burn train hiding behind uh, something. Uh, I know they definitely do, maybe we shall see. The Lorraine's hiding behind that. Now we're in Springfield. They say we're really good chicken waffle burger here, eh? but last time just it was, it was bad. It was that bad. Just a bit uh, off putting for the rest. That's Halloween Horror Nights, but there's the uh, Peacock Bar, Spike Spirits. the Men in Black shop at the minute. <laughs> We're a um, oh, little pumpkin guy up there. One thing that if it's quiet you can go up to the guys at the, the start the front of the Men in Black line and ask for the immigration tour. Oh, this is a free thing. And I've even seen people doing that. I mean you can tip at the end if they want but if it's quiet enough they'll allow you to go on the bottom floor where like the aliens are in the room. Like you know the main kind of headquarters room in the film where you've got them two aliens on the big computer screen. There's that. 
and the, the queue for the normal riders at the top where you can uh, actually put your name and take a few photos and write your name down in the immigration thing, which is uh, neither one. Them. So, I'm trying to look. I mean, the camera fuse was too busy, but the camera's it's, it's just look at the draw. If, if, if you don't ask, you don't get it's one of them. It's not raining, so it's raining till the 12th. We're going to get a leak. I think it's a lot with uh, Universal. With Love and Rides, everything's got to go in a locker. And I mean, everything. Not feeling so fiery today. Some of the rides that we won't be able to get to do tomorrow because they're not included in well, I've been during horror nights. I'm gonna do a cheeky dash over to see if we can get a high grids. It's close to closing time in the park. I'm gonna be here tomorrow, I just wanna have a snap of that. Oh Petra. <laughs> Pedro, it's the last of us. Okay. Last of us. There's a firefly sign on the door. <laughs> Who walk in? Left behind Ravioli, that's what I'll be getting. I'll show it to me. I mean, the coffee sounds nice. Oh, look on to the door. That's class. It's the joke book! From? The Last of Us! Is it? <laughs> stage, I wonder where the stages of infection were going to come in. Runner, do not let them swarm you. Stalkers. Clicker can't see. Ah, oh, they've torn off the bloater. <laughs> Like the send at the QZ. I got the drive up up there as well. They got volume two. Volume two. <laughs> oh, what a nice nod. That is that is class. 
So that's the exit, so we'll be coming in through this bit tomorrow. So this is the entrance. Electric Mayhem bus. Once <laughs> so we can get a cheeky ride on a uh, Hagrid's. Park closes in 26 minutes. Should have walked down side. Universal are doing a uh, team member appreciation night. So that's probably why they're closing early. I don't know if it's going to be the same this side of town. Hard Rock Live and Hard Rock. The Chocolate Emporium, which is all indeed everything chocolate. Oh my days. The teeth itch, just thinking about that. <laughs> well, they let us in, but I swear they're uh, suddenly cursing us. Merry Christmas shop. Oh, something smells good. I think people in front have the same idea. <laughs> so, contact for you. Why not be fun, still a fact. Everything in this part of the land is this landing. Nothing is straight. Nothing always has a, a little bit of a curve to it. Let's get a cheeky go on a Hagrid's motorbike. About 50 minutes before the park closes, the park's been closed for uh, a little over an hour now. I'm just coming on. Won't be able to see the castle. Okay. I'll get closer in a minute. Big in the sky. Eight legs is simply too many. All the roads lead to Hogsmeade. Like a tribute to Hagrid ride, but it's nice. See, immortalised again in a ride. Oh, that's pretty awesome, that. Pretty palm trees and pretty lights. Still there, quite a fair amount of people to say pot closed over an hour ago now. They've got the guards at the toilets. And helmets are talking. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not like Disney here. I bet there won't be a big shop open still. Oh, sorry. An hour and ten after 
Yeah, yeah, that is true. I didn't, I didn't think of that after I said it. I was like, ah, oh, okay. The adventure lives on. This place does nearly everything chocolate but some kick ass milkshakes. So we're gonna uh, have a little bit of friend in one for a while as well, for a couple of years to be honest, and I haven't mustered it yet. But this could be our dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, see, you'll, you'll see why when you see the size of it, like, dang. I spent $21 on a shake. Nice to say. getting all the um, apple pie flavours and a bit of cinnamon in that. Ah, oh, purple crystals. Not the dark crystal, but purple crystals. It was always like an hour. Head about to the car now. We have took it. But at least the car parks are party. <laughs> so Driving down this morning, everything looked a bit kind of smog. Nothing was quite quite clear to see. They said that the uh, the air index light wasn't that great. And quite curious as to what it was. I thought it was like pollution or whatnot. But apparently, um, bushfires in Canada. Have come all the way down here, and that's what it is. It's smoke from Canada. Mad. Over two thousand miles away, and we're getting it. <laughs> 